order to do a dialysis treatment, you have to have access to the patient's blood. And there are several different procedures that can be done to, main, to maintain that access. Uh, some of them have very high complication rates, particularly catheters, have very high infection rates and a lot of adverse outcomes associated with them. The best form of uh, dialysis access is an AV fistula, which is person's own artery and vein connected together and it makes a, makes a prominent vein, essentially arterialized vein, that can be accessed repeatedly for dialysis procedure. A lot of work was done at Keck and Arbor Research and in the DOP study that I had the privilege to be part of, showing comparisons between U.S. And, and other countries. DOPS data, among others, demonstrated very clearly dramatic variation in use of fistula internationally. Much of the differences in, in outcomes across countries was indeed due to differences in uh, fistula use. These findings were very important with respect to the CMS as it implemented uh, what was called Fistula First Initiative, and ultimately, ultimately Fistula First Catheter Last Initiative to improve fistula use and lessen catheter use in the United States. The Fistula First Initiative that CMS promulgated went a long way in improving the fistula rates in this country to the extent that now and the prevalent dialysis population has about 60% of patients have AV fistula, the ideal form of vascular access. So that challenge has been overcome in part, I think not in small part due to the efforts that the data generated at Keck and Arbor Research combined uh, produced for the community and for CMS to realize that, uh, uh, that this is an important theme.